What's going on guys? Welcome to the Summer Content Update, or aka Free Apocalypse Rising 2. Today we're going to be doing a full overview of pretty much every single thing they added. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because it means the absolute world to me. We have a few different categories to go over. I may leave timestamps in the description. Uh, we'll talk about in-game updates, weapons, the character creation tool, uh, VIP servers, uh, new cosmetics, and just like miscellaneous stuff. Obviously the map has been updated and they said they added like small islands around the map. As you can see, I mean, this wasn't here before. Um, this little middle island thing between Salem and Destroyer wasn't there. We got a little thing behind prison. Just small little things all over the place. Um, we got the new junkyard. But everything else looks the same to me. Let's go hop over to junkyard and see what's going on there. It also looks like they added some, uh, crates on some floaties in the middle of the ocean i just found an a2 in it so i guess look out for that all right so here's the uh new junkyard pretty sure this is going to be a hot spot for a little bit because it's new my first thoughts about this is that this place is actually kind of massive compared to like what we've seen in pictures at least of the developer leaks yeah this place is huge and it also looks like they buffed the zombies a little bit i don't think there's as much i haven't seen it as much as uh what i or what we've seen in Alpha. Um, your typical, like, waste dump or whatever you see at, uh, in real life. Looks like we got a hidden entrance over here. School boss. Got a few crates. Uh, here's a new chocolate milk, too, that they added. Another thing to note is watch what you're eating in the game, because they also changed some of the stats. For example, like, the peanut butter and the canned ham. The canned ham is now 60 energy and minus 15 hydration. And before, I think it was plus 45 uh, energy or plus 50 either one of those so make sure you, you're watching because they I think they redid some of the stats and over there looks like a processing plant let's go check that out this is cool I mean you just got a bunch of I guess this is a good place for car parts after playing this for like 10 minutes now I really do prefer the old ones the flat ones I don't know the icons just like really cartoony Looks like a car area where they uh, leave all the empty cars. Pretty sure you can find like a an actual working car here. Got a little warehouse here. Car part central. What? Junkyard was pretty cool. Uh, this is one of the uh, type of islands that they added that they said. They added like small islands around the map. I don't know how much loot you're gonna possibly find on one of these. It literally just looks like a blank island. Is there anything like good on here? Okay, so it looks like we have, like, a little cave system here. How big is this? Also, we got, like, new lootable containers, a cooler. I like that. Little pond. Yeah, there's not much in here. Other than that, there's not really much else that's notable here. Here's another example of how the map actually changed. This is the road to Salem. As you can see, there, there's usually been a house on this side with, like, minimal trees, but now it's, like, completely, uh, I guess, detailed now. And that house has been moved to the opposite side. Coastlines have now been uh, extended as well. And right now we're heading to the three islands between Destroyer and Salem. This is also new. Looks like we got a little bit of a campsite here with uh, a few tents around it and like a water keg tower thing. Is anything good here? A few crates. What can we find here? I mean, this is definitely a good place to get started if you're if you have no loot or something and you want to like get back to ash because you lost all your gear or whatnot this is like the main one over here yeah like this one has nothing on it i'm guessing same with this one this is also one of the new weapon crates you can find this is a military weapon case i just found a g3 in it so expect to find decent gear in one of these within the uh destroyer shipwreck area they uh changed it up a little bit they got the motel here but no more uh little like unit thing here i'm honestly blown away with all of this Here's the little back room of the diner here, like the kitchen area. Got your like typical like uh, sign that you see when you're traveling on the road, if you guys ever traveled on the road before. As we saw in the dev leaks, they moved radio tower completely. Usually it was uh, right over there. Looks like they plopped it down over here. Now I'm not sure if something is replacing that or the intentions were to just like put everything squished together or something. Yeah, so radio tower is now like... 50 meters from like school over here instead of the water park the well, water park is still there but because up, up over there there was there's like no reason ever to go over there they also it looks like they also cleaned up the edges here no more of that like 90 degree cliff it's just a straight uh it's like a 45 degree slope down 
Now in Ashland, uh, the entire area by the edge here is now, like, decorated and furnished. Beach, like, umbrellas and spots all over the place. Uh, we saw this in a dev leak earlier, uh, like, the Coast Guard or, like, Lifeguard tower here. Yeah, quite a bit has been done in Ash, I mean... Also, as you can see, some texturing has been redone. The bricks look completely different. Uh, no more, like, stucco wall. It's just, like, bricks and... Also, new, like, caged windows for some reason. You also have limitations, so you actually cannot get in this thing. I mean, I guess you can... You can break the glass, but you can't actually get in. So you're just gonna be shooting someone just like that through here. Looks like Police Station also got retextured. The Ashland Church has been completely redone as well. Same with the surrounding area. So we got a lot more trees. It actually looks way better than the last one. They just like 10x their quality of this. Way better than the previous one. I'm loving this already. Um, to get up to the bell tower, you uh, just access this door on the side here. You got a storage room there and then the uh, stairs to the bell tower here. And up the ladder, you got your own little, uh, I guess, sniper's nest. Dude, are you kidding? Uh, Soviet crate here. And yeah, that's the whole church. They added like a whole line of cars or something. Is this like the, the new event that they added? Like the convoy thing? So it looks like that was the uh, convoy thing that they were talking about. It's just, I guess, a line of cars. It still looks like heli crashes are like the meta here. Because this gave me... This is what this gave me. A Tommy this and there's like a few things of ammo in the car when you search the car although you cannot you can't search like this casket thing here i thought there would be like some crazy gun or something but apparently not so i'm guessing this is also another random event that they have i don't know what this one is called it's just i guess a truck with zombies maybe i don't i don't know if this is like a dynamic event where like it appears and stuff maybe this is like a permanent thing yeah i'm not sure if this is one maybe it is actually oh it looks like it is i'm pretty sure there's nothing, like, great here. I don't... I wouldn't see why it is one. I don't know. So we're gonna be testing out some of the, uh, new weapons here. I'm just gonna shut up so you guys can, uh, so you guys can listen to them. And I'll just, like, shoot a whole mag or something so you guys can see everyone. Um, first I will be doing the non-rare ones, and they have four of them. So we'll go through each one. But yeah, those are all the guns, um, hopefully you saw, I got to see some of those crazy ones, like the Patriot, dude, that recoil was insane. I literally pulled my mouse down my whole mouse pad. That's how, uh, that's how crazy the recoil was on that. Some miscellaneous things is that they, uh, adjusted some stats for some of the firearms, 
They didn't get too specific with that, so I guess we're just gonna have to find out. They also added two new uh, attachments that you can find. Uh, the Admiral's Green Laser Sight and the Spetsnaz Suppressor. So, I just got an XM here, so we'll test them out. Obviously the laser's not gonna really matter, but I guess the Suppressor maybe will. So, let's just fire a mag, I guess. So this thing's actually pretty good, because it, um... The Suppressor, at least, because it, uh, does not attract infected when firing. Not sure if that goes with all suppressors. That's all pretty cool. So, moving over to VIP servers, um, we have a little bit to talk about here. By the way, these are completely free, so you can make them, you only can make one of them though. And the way to do that is you go to your, uh, on the Apocalypse Rising 2 homepage, click on the servers tab, and if you haven't created one yet, you'll see create private server, and once you click it, you can enter your own name. I named it something stupid. Uh, there's actually a few settings here, there's, uh... There's allow joining, which means that if you disable it, nobody can join your server. Uh, there's an option if you want uh, friends to join. And you can also generate your own private server links that you can send to your friends. Once you hop in, the first thing you're going to see is this completely new uh, UI that they did from the previous tourney hub. You can have up to 20 spectators total, so total of 30 people in the entire server. And what's actually different from this, from Tourney Hub, is that you don't need two people to actually start a match. You can actually just join yourself. So you don't need anybody. You can even join the spectator by yourself and you can just fly around and whatnot. But into the settings, you got a few things. You can choose your uh, round length, so you can go up to 20 minutes. Number of rounds can go up to 20. And the score mode, how you want to play the game, you can do best of or the first to a certain number. And otherwise, you got all your little maps here. They did add a few new ones, like the two oil rigs connected together. And then you actually got Undertaker's Forest, which I guess we'll take a look at first because this is new. But everything else has been uh, in the game. So what's different about this from the previous tourney hub thing that we had before is that you actually get your loadouts transferred from the main game. So you're able to, I know, whatever you have, my funny little boonie hat thing and my ghillie suit, whatever. You actually don't have the option to use locked clothes so you have to actually like find every single one of these in order to use them in this game so like i don't have the the white flared suit pants so i have to find it in the main game and unlock it so i'm able to transfer it over to here and use it once you're ready click play and you'll go over to the second screen which you can choose everything you want to use for i mean whatever you want you can choose your weapons like if you want an xm type in xm you get all your stuff for it uh, you can choose your attachments, so like if I wanted Corbisite or like a Suppressor. Really the only thing you can spawn in supplies is food, medikits, and water. And once you're ready, you just click and hold, which will just pretty much confirm your loadout. So then we're in, so now we just wait for the timer to complete and then you just start your match. But since this is a new map that they added, I guess we'll just take a look at it for a bit. So no, I'm pretty sure this is just like literally a forest, just by itself. I'm not sure if there's anything like really special. I guess what sucks about this map is it's just all trees, so you can get pop-shotted really fast. It looks like a little bit of a house here. Can you go in it? Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, this is nice. You can see they put a lot of detail on this. Got a little cooler here. But I don't think there's anything else that's notable in this map besides just a giant forest and one house. Although I actually kind of like this because it's kind of small compared to, like, playing in Ash with, like, two people. And once you're done with any game, you'll go to this complete screen and it'll say, obviously, the match results. And I don't think there's any way to get back to the main menu, so I think you literally just have to leave the game and come back. When it comes to in-game changes, they added, uh, obviously, completely new icons for pretty much everything. My first impressions on this is I don't really like it. They kind of look, like, cartoony. What are you guys' impressions on this? Do you guys like this or do you guys just, like, not like it? Although this change allows the game to uh, load up very fast. These are not like individual images anymore. These are like custom viewport things that uh, one of the developers made. So there is no more like loading up your inventory every time you load into the game. It's just instantly there. Additionally, they added a muscle car. I wasn't able to find it, but this is a little video clip of it that I found. And overall, I feel like the field of view has changed when you're knifing things. It's like really close. And it just feels a little bit different. Feels a lot closer. Moving over to the character creator, we got a little bit of changes here. Obviously, the background's different. Like a whole different like location instead of that static white thing. 
Kind of reminds me of the APOC uh, one menu screen where they had like the campfire and stuff. But I'm not sure if this is even a location in the current game. I think this is just custom made for the menu screen. Some cool changes they made is that you're now able to toggle hair visibility through the head. I don't, I'm not a fan of this. I like to keep it off, but that's, uh, that's a new feature. They also added a bunch of new cosmetic items, as you can see. I mean, just an absolute ton. Probably like, it, I'd say this is at least like double of what they had before. Some of them look really good. They also added this paint bucket icon here, and when you click on it, it shows this little color variance thing. You're able to click and change the color of your pants. As long as the pants have more than one different color, you're able to change it from it. That is all for the uh, character creation menu. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned something new about the update. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button because it means the world to me. Thank you guys for watching and as always, have an amazing day.